Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Wise and this is the continuation video of Cost of Capital. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the full video collections. Okay, now in this video, we are going to see the next component that is Cost of Retained Earnings. Now, let's see the problem. Before we see the problem, let us try to understand what is cost of retained earnings briefly. Okay, see, retained earnings means uh, it is an accumulated amount of undistributed profit which is belongs to equity shareholders. Okay, so they provide a major sources of financing for expansion or uh, diversification of the projects. Okay, so their cost is the opportunity cost of the fund. If these were distributed to the shareholders, they would have reinvested them in the same firm by purchasing its equity and earned on the additional shares the same rate of return as they are earning on their existing shares. Okay, so here there is a slight difference between cost of equity and cost of retained earnings because the retained earnings do not involve the payment of personal tax that is the first difference as well as uh, it does not have any flotation cost okay so these are the two important difference uh, to find out the cost of uh, retained earnings okay now let's see the problem see the problem the rate of return available to the equity shareholders uh, in the x limited is 25 percentage okay and the personal tax rate applicable to shareholder is 20 percentage it is expected that the shareholders will have to bear a brokerage cost of 2% when they invest their dividend in alternative securities. Okay. Now, with this information, they are asking you to compute the cost of retained earnings. Okay. Now, let's see the solution. See the solution. This is the formula to find out cost of retained earnings. KR refers to cost of retained earnings is equal to KE, KE means cost of equity into 1 minus T, T refers to tax rate into 1 minus B, B refers to brokerage. Okay, so according to the given information in the problem, cost of equity is 25 percentage, tax bracket is 20 percentage and brokerage is 2 percentage. Okay, now substitute these figures in the formula to find out the cost of retained earnings. Okay, so KR is equal to KE 25 percentage into 1 minus T. Okay, 1 minus uh, T is tax bracket is 20 percentage. No, so 0 0.20 into 1 minus uh, B. B refers to brokerage 2 percentage. No, so 0 0.02. So 25 into 1 minus 0 0.20, 0 0.80 into 1 minus 0 0.02, you'll be getting 0 0.98, okay. So, 25, 25 into 0 0.80, you'll be getting 20 into 0 0.98. So, what is the answer? 19.6 percentage. So, this is the cost of retained earnings according to the given information. So, this is the way to find out cost of retained earnings. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.